Welcome to Digital Drawing 101, Drawing Animals. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kirk Nelson. I'm your friendly neighborhood graphics geek, and I'll be your guide on this voyage. I'm a regular instructor here at Tuts Plus. I'm a professional graphics artist with over 17 years of experience. My work has appeared in international trade publications nearly 300 times. I'm an Adobe certified expert, and it's my pleasure and privilege to present this course to you. My intent for this course is to present a workflow that will help you develop your skills in drawing common animals. I call this digital drawing because it's a medium specific course. My goal is to present a union of classic drawing technique and modern tools. I believe we should use the tools at our disposal to create the best art we can while still learning from the great minds who have gone before us. This course is divided into five chapters. Chapter one is an introduction. You're viewing that now. And there's a quick overview of the tools and resources. Chapter two is digital drawing fundamentals. That's where we'll explore how to observe and develop a gesture sketch from some reference material. Then we'll begin fleshing out that sketch into a more fully realized drawing. In chapter three, we take a look at how to draw a horse in action. We'll begin with some action lines, we'll use a skeleton sketch, and we'll work through the method of rendering the animal with mass and weight. This chapter includes lots of great tips and techniques for utilizing the advantages that the digital medium has to offer us. In chapter four, we change things up a bit and we'll develop a proper illustration of a dog. So we'll go from sketching to drawing vector lines and creating the lighting and shading using the different tools that we have available. Then chapter five is the most fun, as we draw out a fun kitty cartoon character or a cat caricature. You'll learn some great techniques about exaggeration, fun, almost children's style illustration. We'll also develop this slick rendered appearance and you'll see how that's accomplished. Ultimately, my goal for you in this course and all my courses is to learn and grow. Even if you don't end up liking the way your drawings ended up for the different animals that we do, if you've learned something new and you've expanded your skill set even just a little bit, then count this as a success, because I know I do. So with that, I'd like to get started. If you'll take just a minute or so and listen to lesson two, and I'll explain to you what tools you'll need and how to use the course resources.